Hello guys, my name is Odefell and today I am going to be doing a review and unboxing of the Kotobukiya Art FX Scarlet Witch statue. I am very excited to add this to my collection. I have a lot of Marvel ladies, both Kotobukiya and Marvel Select, that are of a similar scale. So I am very excited to add yet another to my collection and this one looks absolutely stunning. So I am very, very excited to open this with you guys and share my thoughts. Okay, so starting with the box, we have the typical Art FX font, which matches the X-Men ones they have released, as well as the wave in which this comes with. I'll have a uniform font. In the background is a bunch of comic panel art done in red ink, which also matches up with the other Art FX Marvel figures they have released. It's a similar, somewhat uniform aesthetic for the boxes. Here also says the character, and it says Artifacts and Kotobukiya on one side and Marvel on the other. So the top of the box has the Marvel logo as well as Scarlet Witch, and it denotes that it is the RFX version, which is a subset of Kotobukiya's statue types. It also says that it's part of the Avengers series, which is the wave in which this came out, and they all scale together. And she's also a 1 10th scale pre-painted statue. This side panel here shows the entire Avengers series that dropped along with Scarlet Witch, and it includes an interesting roster. It has Ant-Man and Wasp, which come in one statue, I believe, and then we have Captain America, Sam Wilson, Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Captain Marvel, and Thanos, and this Thanos one is a rather large statue. It does scale with the rest in a somewhat canonical way. They also have all, like, matching rock faces that go with this so they all blend together really well as a set. The back here has a full view of what our statue is going to look like with the rock face and her pose as well as the Scarlet Witch comic font which I really appreciate them using on the back. I will put up an image of what her comic font looks like there and then it also teases some of the other statues in the series, Ant-Man and Wasp, Captain America, and Black Panther, which is super cool. And then on this panel, it's a close-up of the inspiration art for the statue. I always love when they do this. I like seeing their art that they base it on before doing the 3D sculpt. And it's absolutely lovely. I love the colors that they used on this. The pink and the red just blend really well together. Um, with the black and red background. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. So inside the box, we can tell she comes in several different pieces that need assembled. Now you can usually pop these joints into place, or if you want to be extra careful, you can glue them into place carefully. Just be careful, you don't want to get glue around the outside of the joints, it just doesn't look good but I tend to just pop mine together in case I need to transport them and need to put them back into this and they hold together just sturdy without any. You can already tell the awesome sculpt and paint sheens from just looking at all these pieces in the plastic and I am super excited to get cracking into this and put her together. So it looks like she has her base, two arm pieces here. The headpiece, this hair sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait. And then here is her body and super majestic cape. So I'm gonna go put it together now and I'll get back with you guys to talk about what I think about this statue. So I am absolutely enamored by this sculpt. It is her classic costume, which appears nearly in this version in her first appearance ever in X-Men number four, which came out in 1963 and was later tweaked into what became her iconic costume, this one. This statue here retails for roughly $100 USD, but varies somewhat depending on which seller you get it from. I love how her suit, boots, and gloves are all a very varnished red. It gives it almost a latex appearance. Where her pink undersuit isn't quite matte, it still has somewhat of a pearlescence, but it differentiates it from the pure matte that her skin is. 
and I just absolutely love the texture and illusion that it gives it. It makes it feel real, it makes it feel like it has depth, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Speaking of depth, her cape is honestly amazing. All the folds and wrinkles are lovely and shaded, and it's just absolutely gorgeous, along with her hair sculpt as well, which is absolutely stunning. It looks like it was washed with a red paint after being painted brown, which gives it a nice sense of highlight, which I really, really appreciate. If you have a mirrored case, I highly suggest putting this in a mirrored case just so you can enjoy how absolutely stunning the back of this sculpt is because they really didn't just slap the back of it on there. They really put a lot of work into it and it, it really shows. Her face sculpt is absolutely well done. The makeup looks like it was meticulously applied. She has pink eyeshadow which pops with the rest of the costume and all together it's absolutely lovely. The base itself is this cute little rock here, which she kind of pins herself up on. One of my few complaints would be that it, it feels like her feet are kind of falling out of it. She's pretty solidly secured and doesn't, but I feel like she is wobbling a little bit, but that might just be me not pressing hard enough. But I just feel like her feet don't perfectly fit into the base. Um, but that's a mild uh, issue. She's staying in it pretty well, so I can't really complain. I just wish she would snap in a little bit further. My only other complaint is that there are two seams that are somewhat visible still, and that is on the cape on the inside right here. The outside is totally fine and flawless. And then right where the crown of the head meets the rest of the hair sculpt, there is a little bit of one there as well. But other than that, you really can't tell anything in this quite seamless statue. And I am so beyond excited to add her to my collection. Let me know what you guys think down below of this beautiful Kotobukiya Scarlet Witch. Also feel free to let me know other statues you might want me to try and get a hold of within reason. I can try and take a look and see if I can review it on this channel. If you like this video, please like it, uh, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see ya. Bye!